adding parity bit is the simplest method of uh, error detection. Parity is simply the number of ones appearing in the binary form of a number. For example, the number 55 has this binary form. So the parity is 5 which is odd number. Just count the number of uh, ones appearing in this pattern. Now there are two options in parity selection. One is even parity and another one is odd parity. Let's discuss them one by one. In this example we saw that the number has an odd number of ones. In the case of even parity, the parity bit is set to 1 to make entire number of ones including parity bit as even. So if the number of ones in a given set of bits that is not including the parity bit is odd then parity bit will be set to 1 in order to make the number of ones in the entire set of bits that is uh, including the parity bit as even. If the number of ones in a given set of bits is already even as in this case then parity bit is set to 0 in order to make the entire set of bits even. This is how even parity works. When using odd parity, the parity bit is set to 1 if the number of 1s in a given set of bits that is not including the parity bit are even. Making the number of 1s in the entire set of bits that is including the parity bit odd. And when the number of 1s is odd in the given data bits, then the odd parity is set to 0. If you are still confused, simply remember even parity results in even number of ones whereas odd parity results in odd number of ones when counted including the parity bit. But why use the parity bit? Parity bit is used to detect errors. Let's say we are transmitting this data that is decimal 167. Uh, assuming an even parity bit is added to it, the data being sent becomes this one. Here the red one indicates the parity bit. Let's assume in the course of uh, transmission the data gets corrupted and one of the bits uh, got changed. Ultimately say the receiver receives this data pattern. This is the bit which got corrupted. We know that the data is sent according to even parity. Counting the number of ones in the received data, we get 4 excluding parity bit and 5 including parity bit. But that sounds wrong, isn't it? That should be even number of ones including the parity bit in the case of even parity selection, isn't it? Because both devices agree upon the parity logic. This makes the receiver realize that the data is corrupted and will eventually discard the data and wait or request for a new frame to be sent.